Are you wondering how to create a company page on LinkedIn? If so, you are in the right place because I'm about to show you exactly how to do this step by step. Okay, my love, before we proceed with setting up your company page, there are two things you need to know. Number one, you do need to have a personal profile on LinkedIn in order to create a company page. And if you just set up your personal profile, you're gonna have to wait at least 24 hours until LinkedIn allows you to set up a business page. And number two, you do need at least one connection on LinkedIn, which is pretty easy to achieve. Simply send out some connection invites to the people that you know and make sure to accept them as well. Now that we have those two things covered, let's head over to LinkedIn and actually create your company page. This is what you're going to see once you're inside of LinkedIn. So this is your news feed and you wanna click under here for business and create a company page. From here, you simply select a company and all you have to do is type in your organization name. So for me, I'm just gonna put in, let's just do all caps Vendy. And here is an important note. This URL is already taken, probably by me. <laughs> so you're not gonna be able to use the URL that someone else has claimed on LinkedIn. So in this instance, I'm just going to say Vendy2, and that allows me to proceed. Then we're gonna have a website. So let me very quickly grab my website over here. I'm gonna put in the website, industry. You simply start typing your industry. So I start typing marketing, and I can see marketing services. Then organization size, I'm gonna select that. Organization type, in my case, it's privately held. And we're gonna quickly upload our logo. I'm gonna select it over here. And then you're gonna have your tagline here, but that is optional. And for now, you just wanna click, I verify that I am authorized to actually set up this company page and go ahead, click create page. Now, at this stage, our company is officially set up on LinkedIn, though we could definitely benefit from some polishing. So let's proceed. Now here at the top, you can see a progress bar. So LinkedIn is basically telling you all the things that it wants you to do in order to finish up the page. Or what I typically like doing is actually just going here, edit page, and then looking at all the sections one by one. So for example, at the very top page info, we have the logo, we have the name, URL, tagline, which is optional. Then we can go into buttons. So by default, this is turned on, which is amazing because you wanna basically have a clear call to action. Where do you want people to go when they land on your company page? So in my case, it's visit website, though you could select a different call to action should you choose to, and also have a different URL where you're redirecting your people, for example, like a lead magnet or a calendar booking, okay? And then if you just scroll over here, it shows you a preview. This is how it's gonna look. People are gonna be encouraged to follow you or to go and visit your website, or again, whatever that call to action is for you. Then you can go over to Featured, and you can explore that for you later on. For now, I'm gonna go into All Review. So you have a company description. I'm just gonna copy and paste mine here. Again, we have the website, and you have the industry, everything else we already filled out, year founded, and phone number, those are optional. And I definitely want you to add your specialities. So you're simply gonna start typing it in. So for example, I can say Marketing, I can say Lead Generation, and again, add up to 20, apparently. That's quite a few, but up to 20 different specialities for your business. And again, we're gonna click Save. Then you can go and see other sections that are relevant. So Workplace is gonna be more relevant when we're trying to hire someone through LinkedIn. For now, I'm gonna skip through it. Then we have Commitments. If you wanna tell everyone on LinkedIn like what your company stands for, what are the values for your brand, there's something you can add over here. Location, you can add the office address here as well. And you can also set up a lead gen form, though again, that's something we can do later on. Though for now, I'm just gonna exit this and I wanna show you one important button, which is view as member. When you click that, you can actually see how other members on LinkedIn see your company page. So we have this overview, the website, all the basic things, which is beautiful, though you can see over here that the banner is not looking particularly cute because, well, it's empty. And I actually have a surprise for you. So down here in the description, I want you to open up a Canva template. And once you do, this is what you're going to see. So these are the banners I have designed in the past, and I'm trying to make it very easy for you to design your own. So these are the exact dimensions for the company page banner. This is where your logo is going to be, so you don't wanna add any text there. And otherwise, you could simply click this button, duplicate page, like remove my picture, and go to uploads and upload your own photo or anyone you want to be represented there. So as a quick example, I could potentially, let me just select this one. This is a photo of me, maybe too excited. Let's do this one. These are obviously thumbnails for YouTube. <laughs> so I selected that, but you can see I have a background there that I need removing. So very quickly, I would go into edit photo, I would click background remover, 
and that's gonna remove the background for our photo. And again, you can make it fit the space. And of course, if you need to change text or font size, you click into it, you retype it. Over here, you can click into fonts, change the fonts, change the colors. So basically you can move things around, play around with it, delete anything that's not relevant, and then go ahead and click share, click download, you're gonna go ahead and select only that one photo you want to download. And again, you're gonna click done and download. So if we return back to your company page, and now we're gonna click view as admin, I actually wanna update our banner. And we do this over here by clicking on this little pencil icon, upload a cover image. And again, the template I gave you is the exact dimensions you need for LinkedIn. And now I'm just gonna select that, click open. I'm gonna click apply. And now if I go back and see view as member, you can see that we have this banner at the top, which is beautiful. Cause again, that's your prime real estate on LinkedIn. And you definitely want to have a very captivating banner on your company page. So when we go back and click view as admin again, you can continue filling out all the sections on your profile though. One important thing I really want to show you right now is clicking into settings and you can actually manage admins. Who are the people that are going to be able to manage your company page? and basically design it and improve it and optimize it. So again, you can click add admin and add other people in your organization who are gonna be responsible for your company page on LinkedIn. And they have different levels here that you can read more about to see how much access they're going to have, okay? And again, if I click out of this, if I go back to settings, this is also the place where you can deactivate your page should you choose to at any point. So again, if I go back into the feed, you can carry on looking at a progress bar and finish up all the other steps for creating your company page. Now, if you're a business owner looking to attract clients on LinkedIn, I actually highly recommend that you pay way more attention to your personal profile than the business page. And the reason for this is that most leads and potential clients want to reach out to you directly. So it's incredibly important that your personal profile is optimized and it doesn't look like a resume, but an actual sales page all about your ideal clients. And if you need support turning your LinkedIn profile into a compelling client magnet, I have a free mini training called Profile to profit down below here in the description where i walk you through every single section from your headline to banner to about section to featured section and making sure that the messaging on your profile truly resonates with your perfect fit clients and it's all about them rather than you so again a link to that training is down here below if you found this video helpful could you please please do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below we have a goal of hitting 100k subscribers on YouTube by the end of 2024, and I could so appreciate your help with this. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about how to find your customers on LinkedIn, I highly recommend that you check out this video next on LinkedIn Sales Navigator and how to use it to narrow down the search results to find your perfect fit clients on this platform. So again, thank you so much for being here, and I'm gonna catch you in the next video.